Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about position vectors slash displacement vectors slash uh, separation vectors. So consider a, uh, a vector in three-dimensional space x uh, okay. so, uh, consider a vector and uh, three-dimensional space um, goes distance y, x, and z, and I'll label it r, and it's going in the radial direction, so it's going in the r hat direction. That's its indication which way it's going, so radial, out, radially outward. Okay. So this is x, Y and Z. Okay. So now the magnitude of R is just the uh, Pythagorean theorem. X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared. The magnitude is the length. Okay. Now consider if we have our or say like we have some origin O. And then from O there is some source point. So I call it uh, SP, meaning source point. And it has a position vector R prime. And we want to look at from the source point to another point that we're interested in called the field point, which is a distance from the origin, or like the place we're referencing it from, which is called the position vector R. And it has a separation uh, vector between uh, the field point, which I'll call FP. So it's from here to there. Which is R, uh, this is a cursive R. So this is the position vector from um, R prime to R. So you can really uh, say that, that uh, R is R minus uh, R prime. So that's a, the uh, separation vector between the um, field point and the source point. Okay, so we, so what's r hat of? So back to this um, picture. So what's r hat? Well, recall r hat is a unit vector, so it's the vector r over the length of r. Okay, and so so what's r? So r is x, x hat plus y, y hat plus z, z hat. See, so that's the position. It goes x and x hat, y and y hat, this much in the y direction, this much in the z direction, over the length of r, which we calculated, which is x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Okay. <laughs> okay, so again, stating that the unit vector r our hat is pointing really outward. The infinitesimally vector from x, y, z, so from x, y, z to x plus dx to y plus dy, z plus dz. Uh, it's usually denoted as an infinitesimally vector from x, y, z to x plus dx plus y plus dy plus z plus dz. And it's usually denoted by this um, distance called, I'm going to call it dl, which is dx x hat plus dy y hat plus dz z hat. OK. OK. And this is uh, infinitesimally distance from point A to point B. OK. Now. Let's talk about the magnitude of the separation vector, which is between the field point and the source point. So, so uh, rewriting the field the separation vector r is r minus r prime. Okay. So now, let's see. So its magnitude is r prime, which is r minus r prime magnitude. Okay. 
So, this magnitude is this, and a unit vector in the direction from r prime to r is this guy. So, is uh, this over the length of this, which is r minus r prime over length of r minus r prime. So in Cartesian coordinates, x, y, z, I'm not talking about spherical coordinates or cylindrical coordinates, just um, rectangular coordinates basically, that the position vector r, rewriting it in terms of notation of r and r prime, is basically x minus x prime, x hat, plus y minus y prime, y hat, plus z minus z prime z hat. Okay. So now the length of r is the same as the basically the Pythagorean theorem. So it's uh, x minus x prime quantity squared plus y minus y prime quantity squared plus z minus z prime quantity squared. Okay. So now uh, the unit vector r the separation, the unit vector r, as a separation vector is minus x x hat plus y minus y prime, which be all primes, y hat plus z minus z prime, z hat over the length of x minus x prime. Shouldn't be there. So y minus y prime. Z minus Z prime squared. So here's an interesting uh, application. So in electrodynamics, a source, a source point R prime is where an electric charge is located from position X, Y, Z and a field point R. And you can calculate the electric or magnetic field by looking at the separation vector as stated previously. Okay, so let's do an example. Um, okay, let's do an example. Okay, so find the separation vector from the source point, source point of two eight seven to the field point to the field point. To the field point uh, four six eight. So, want to know um, the magnitude and the unit vector of the separation vector? Okay. So recall that um, that the separation vector is the field point minus the source point. Okay. So by applying that, we get two x hat minus 2y hat plus 1z hat. Okay, so that's the separation vector. Now, if you find the unit length, let's make it a unit vector, you have to find the length of the separation vector. So this is square root of 4 plus 4 plus 1, which is 3. Okay, so now our hat is r over the length of r. So to base, basically divide everything by 3, x hat minus 2y hat divided by 3 plus 1 third z hat. Okay. And this is the, the unit vector of the separation vector. This is the magnitude of it. Okay. So if you guys want to see what it looks like in three dimensions, it's Real quick to draw. Uh, okay. All right. So let's see. One, two. I'm gonna try to make this pretty accurate. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, sorry, this is in the way, but let's go seven. All right. Okay. So this is my uh, vector R, and this is my fuel point, which is from four. So it's from four. One, two, three, four. To six. Up eight. So it's a little bit hard to see. But uh hold on. So R prime, and this is a separation vector, which is um this thing. A little bit hard to draw, but it's in uh, on a two-dimensional paper. Anyways, uh, thanks for your time, guys, and see you next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Bye.